guys, it's Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette, and I was live in our in our paid group tonight, making our DIY home decor box, the first one. Um, it was so much fun. Uh, hopefully, y'all will all join us next month. We are going to open up 20 spots, so if you're interested, just comment below and let me know that you want to know when a spot opens up, and I'll send you the link. So, um, those will be first come, first serve. All right, so... You want to see what I made? We made this reversible tag. You can see. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so this is what we made for our DIY home decor box. It came with everything you needed to um, paint, to glue, all of it to um, make this project. So we just finished that and I wanted to jump on and do another quick project and uh, this I actually found this was some ribbon that I had left over from assembling all the boxes hey Teresa hey Luann um okay so this is from the boxes I had some just scrap pieces left over so I made a quick bow this was a super easy bow this is one of the ones where you just set the ribbon like back and forth on top of each other I tied some twine around it and there's my bow. Okay, I found this at Dollar Tree. Now friends, you couldn't like hang this on your door by itself because it's super thin, but it's fun for interior crafting or if you wanted to like add it to a wreath or something like that, it would be good for that. So what we're gonna do first is I've already cut one of these. <laughs> I can't, she can't get enough. She was on there live just a minute ago. So um, I've already cut these to the right size for these hearts. I got a piece of scrapbook paper. I cut it down. In order to make this first one, so I didn't just guess, I laid it on here and then I just kind of rubbed my finger all the way around to get the indention. Let me show you what I mean. All right, to get the indention, and then you can kind of see my light. Let me turn that off for just a second. Can y'all see that? Hello, Miss Laura. Hello, Miss Stacy. Okay, so y'all can see the indention. Then you just set it down on your other papers. These I didn't cut exactly perfect. And then you'll just cut out all of your hearts at once. So... Let me just cut around here. Now I have a little container of Mod Podge that I'm gonna be using tonight. So this piece from Dollar Tree, a little bow I made from Extra Ribbon. Hello, Miss Laura. And um, this piece of scrapbook paper. All right. Just cutting this down to make all my hearts. Now guys, if they're not perfect, it's okay. But I am gonna be using a little bit of Mod Podge. You can use regular glue if you don't have Mod Podge. In fact, a lot of times if I don't have Mod Podge, I will water down my glue and that just makes it a little bit easier to use. And please sprinkle this with your friends if you think about it way more people can join us and craft. I can't cut this direction. Anybody else? It's hard to use scissors this direction. I can only cut one way. All right, that was a little bit not perfectly rounded. Let me see if I can round that off a little bit. Okay, good enough. All right, so now I've got four of these hearts. Yes, Melissa, they do have Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. Um, and it will be, you will get some Mod Podge in your box next month. So, all right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this through. Um, these just pop through so that I don't get it all messed up. I'm gonna pop this through and then I'm gonna paint the, 
have boxes of it. Yes. Um, Lisa, I'm opening 20 spots. I will post in our members group first. And then, um, yes, so you will be one of the first to know. Uh-oh, look what I did. I cut my heart off. That didn't sound right, did it? I guess this paper was a little bit smaller. Let me try to round that off. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get a big one. I tried to mix a color that was really close to this. My suggestion would be if you find scrapbook paper you like to grab paint that matches if you want it to be a certain color. Um, I had a heck of a time trying to come up with a color that would match. Um, I didn't get it exactly, but it was, it was the best I could do. So I'm just gonna roughly paint this. And now I'm not really painting the hearts because they're gonna be covered in scrapbook paper. So I'm just painting around them. And if you do end up mixing your own color, the one tip I can give you is mix enough that you can do the whole project because a lot of times when you're mixing colors, especially when it's a crazy color like this, I think I mixed like five colors together to come up with this green. Uh, I don't think I could come up with it again. So to try to mix to match, I don't think I could do it. So just make sure that if you are gonna be mixing your own colors, that you either write down what you're mixing or that you mix plenty. Um, this is one of those times that a little bit of waste would not bother me if I had the exact color that I need. So to each their own, but that's kind of my thoughts on making a little bit extra and having a little bit of waste. All right. I'm just getting these edges too. And this stuff takes paint really quick, soaks it up, dries really quickly. And I'm not being very neat at all. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put a second quick coat on. And then while that dries, we're gonna go ahead and start Mod Podging. Now, Mod Podge is not something I use a whole lot of, but it's fun every now and then. All right, I'm gonna wet that paintbrush, clean it off real good. And then I'm gonna use this paintbrush for my Mod Podge. Just make sure you wash it out when you're done if you wanna use it for paint again. This is just a little, I have a big bottle of Mod Podge at the studio, so I just squirted some in this little to-go container. And, oh, I did four hearts, I only need three. So that funky looking heart doesn't even have to get on here. I'm just gonna brush some on and then and you can put it on your paper if you want to. I just put it straight to my wood. Now, if there's Mod Podge etiquette, I promise I don't know what it is. So, pretend like I did it right. All right, I'm just gonna put that part right there. And then we're gonna do the next one. I don't want this one that I messed up, so let's get this one. Set it on there. Push it down. Smooth that out. All right. Now, while... Oh, why am I ignoring y'all? Um, what did y'all say? I missed it. I'm sorry. I'm, um, I'm in full crafting mode. Sorry, friends. I don't mean to ignore y'all. 
Okay, third one. All right, so I'm gonna put this heart on. And then, oh, let me see. Okay, now I'm gonna take and I'm going to, thank you, it's really not that close, but it's as close as I could get. So I'm gonna take and put a coat of Mod Podge over the top. it out. I'm going to do that over all three hearts. All right. Now this will dry clear. All right. So where it looks kind of right now, it will dry clear. But I'm just putting a quick coat on. All right, y'all see that? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this brush in the water, because I'm done with that. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna hit this with a blow dryer real fast. Mod Podge a little bit too thick in one spot, but that's okay. It'll eventually dry. So this is just a little bit shinier. I'm going to go ahead and stick these um, pieces back through here. And then I'm going to get my bow. Because this is like the quickest craft ever. Thank you, Linda. All right. So there's that. I'm gonna get my bow. I've got a little piece of twine here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie a double knot back here just so I have something to grip on. And then I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna tie it right here to this twine that's on the little hanger. Double knot it back here. And I'm gonna slide this over right there. I'm gonna cut these two pieces, these tails. And there we go. There is a super easy, let's see, there we go. A super easy little craft it would look really fun on a wreath. Um, yeah, so there you go. So all this was was a Dollar Tree shamrock with one piece of scrapbook paper, a little bit of paint, and some scrap ribbon. And that's all. Oh, and twine. That's it. I hope they all enjoyed that. Let's see. That was like, what, a 15-minute craft? And um, I will see y'all later. Have a great night. Please sprinkle with your friends. Show them this fun video. And we will be opening the um, DIY home decor box back up next month. We've got 20 spots we're opening up. And so if you would like to get on, um, get in on one of those spots, just let me know below. And when the link goes live, I'll come in here and I will comment with that link. And the first 20 people get to sign up. And then we'll close again until next month. So I hope you all have a good night. I will talk to y'all later. Bye friends.